Testing one, two, three, four. We are streaming live at British Columbia. It's July the 23rd, 2014. I am the nuclear proctologist. And tonight we're going to cover unit four. Unit four is a very unusual unit. And I'll say hi to a few people tonight. Hippie Blue got his hip replacement. Sorry about the little bump. Steven. Mr. I can see Kate. Hi Kate. It's got a link below to the Fukushima Hounds. It's an independent site by Kate. Fix it stupid. Lori. Mr. I can see Pia. I must have some stuff in my eye tonight. Brett the Youngie. Punisher. Hi everybody. And I'm not going to do a uh, voice check. You know, I haven't been doing that for a little while now. Shanigan. Brian. MSVS. Hidden Beneath, John, ay, 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 Pia, just make sure, Starlight, try to catch a few people at the beginning of the show, it takes me a few minutes to warm up usually at the beginning of these shows, sometimes I jump right in, but I do like to say hi to people, and just to make sure I do that, Alex Smith, Kevin, hi folks, once again, um, thank you for your donations. That was, again, over the top. And I'm not ready for that. I'm pulling all that together. And that's at the Nuclear Proctologist. I got that site kind of worked there a lot better now for everybody. I got five more layers a day. And so that's really easy to use. I'm going to clean it up a little bit more tomorrow. And I'll start uploading new material again tomorrow because I got the site redone. So that's a shake of good news. That's unit four, by the way. And Adam, everybody, did I screw up? Yeah, there we go. That's why it didn't roll. Ronald McKnight, Missing Sky, David, you should. Thank you, Punisher. Audio is perfect. Uh, fix it, stupid. Adam, Pia, Adam, Vanislu. Okay, so unit four, I know we've talked about this over and over and over. And tonight we're going to talk about it some more because it's still in the news. And Lori, Michael, Hand, DJ Bits, Bob, Lee. Hi, folks. Yeah, we got a really cool crew on the go tonight. And so the building you're looking at, the structure, doesn't have a crane in it. So they can't remove anything out of it. And the structure doesn't touch the other building and it doesn't support the other building like the horrible crazies have been saying in the comments section all over the internet, all over CBC and CBS and everybody else. And that's kind of what drove me to make this video tonight. Higher NRL. And so the structure you're looking at doesn't touch Unit 4. That's Unit 4 underneath it that you're looking at. Here's what Unit 4 used to look like. Spent fuel pool. So Unit 4 is destroyed. Can we all agree, finally please... Please agree that Unit 4 is destroyed. Please. I'm so tired of making those videos. It's okay though. Well, keep smacking away at them. <coughs> Hi, Sean. Can't surf. Um, so this is CBS. Now, in their video, they claim they're inside the Unit 4 spent fuel pool. Now, the pictures above his head and the picture above my head is Unit 4. And the picture in the top corner is Unit 4. And the picture he's in, he's adamant that he's inside of Unit 4. I mean, look at Unit 4. There's the fuel pool. How did they get from there to a beautiful fuel pool? From detonations, from nuclear rods going all over the site. You see your Ubener wear in there? <laughs> Uh, toxic little black out here. Uh, got no idea what that one means. I'll keep an eye out. I'm starting to get a little better to the comment sections now. Starting to be able to keep up with it. It was a little easier to get this stream worked out tonight. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, you know, like scramble right to the last second. I actually had 40 minutes, and so I kept adding stuff, of course. But everything was set up. So it's a lot easier to do, and we knew that was going to happen. I just had to get the site organized. It seems like it's a never-ending, but it's not. We can get things done. 
So all of these pictures are the official pictures of Unit 4. So this one, for instance, you see that you can see the roof and you can see the walls and the lights. But here's the building above me. That's inside of that building. Now you can't clean that up. You can't pay anybody enough money to go in there and clean that up. You can't even keep them alive long enough to get it clean. Have I seen the arcing going on at Unit 4 Kate asses? No, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't stopped on the other site and I finally got that done so I can relax now and get back into the mode. I'll have to check it out though. That's interesting. And so we're just talking to the comment section here before I move on. Just because that's an important thing that I, I, I have a hard time doing. But now that I'm finally getting everything sorted out, that was the point of it. And so I can do interviews now on um, Google Plus 2 with anybody. And contact me at Dana Durmford at Hotmail.com. Dana Durmford, that's my name, at Hotmail.com. Or send that address out to any radio shows or anything like that and see if they get back to me. Uh, consider putting an ad in the newspaper for the nuclearproctologist.org. If you want to donate, that's another way of donating. You go just stick an anonymous ad in the paper for nuclearproctologist.org. If they don't want to, tell us. And we'll and tell us who it is, we'll come hound them. Well, that's what we do. Shanigan775, Pia Jensen. It looks like, Kate says, it looks like they're arcing in plasma, creating some sort of electromagnetic radiation. Or are they x-rays? Well, the neutrons are visible. They would look like arcing. Right? And so that's the rods inside of that building. Hang on. So you can see all the carnage. Two of them pictures are original, but that building is destroyed and the rods are all through the place. And under certain circumstances, they will actually light up and send out neutrons and x-rays and everything else. I got some pixelation going on behind me. So that's unit four. You're looking at and let me get back on track of what I was going to do here tonight. I got a tendency to go all over the place if I'm not paying attention to what I'm actually doing all the time. Uh, so this is Unit 4. And the one alongside me is also allegedly Unit 4. So one is beautiful and one is destroyed. Both of them are official pictures. And we can't find any kind of people on this planet that can do that. Yet they done it. And they done it with homeless people. Hi, Kim Young. It's Durn for D U R N F O R D, Ronald. Dana, they built a reactor next to the damaged ones. It's easy to try and solve tins. Yeah. Hi, Stephen. Molly May cleaned it up. I don't put hide hidden beneath. I don't prefer any live feeds to Fukushima cams. I don't trust them. They're all fake as far as I'm concerned. Just like this BBC headline. And, I, and the one above me, alongside of me, these are the ones I inserted. That's the detonations, and that's Unit 4 behind me. And yet, over here, that's Unit 4, according to the BBC. And you can't have it both ways, okay? You can't have two of these inside of each, one inside the other. One's destroyed, and the other one's perfect. Now, we think that other one might be dying at the dying. Someone mentioned in the comments section last night. And I have a tendency to agree with stuff like that because that makes sense to me. Hi, Robert Closet. And you see, um, look at this picture, Robert. I mean, look at how much carnage is at the building, Robert. And look at the carnage. Just look at it. There's your spent fuel pull. And does that remind you even a little tiny bit of what they claim? Um, let me get a picture of that spent fuel pull for everybody. So we'll go back to that one. You know, can you imagine that beautiful one over here being inside of the one over my head? Because that's what that's what all this media is saying. So the one behind set set uh, Dorner above me from CBS, he says he's inside of Unit Four. Unit Four had a detonation, and then it had the carnage. The carnage. Now we have uh, informable. And they've been carrying a lot of weight. They've been carrying a lot of weight. 
And let me bring that up for you. Now they're saying that look at beautiful unit four, but look at unit four above me. Look at the spent fuel pool above me and alongside of me in the pool itself. And how is that matching up? It doesn't, see? And CBC says they're going to remove the fuel rods. Look what they're showing them, everybody. And look at the picture above me. That's unit four. How can you get what CBC is telling you inside of that reactor, what's left of that building, it had a detonation. And so look, you got to challenge these people. You got to hold them accountable. Lots of glue sniffing. <laughs> They're sniffing glue, Robert says. That makes sense. Nothing else does, so that definitely makes sense. I should get an online diploma, as Hippie says. <laughs> Yeah, well you can, you can, I give everybody who comes and watches a video, they get a Pulitzer Prize, a Nobel Peace Prize or something, whatever they want, they just got to check a little box, they can have it, I got no issues with that. Hi, <laughs> I'm thirst. And I got to watch out, I'm yelling when I get close to that microphone, because it's really, truly is sensitive. And so CBC News says, yeah, the buildings are all blowing up, look at it, it's Wonder Bears. And you see that one over the corner, right? Let me find a bigger picture of that for you. I know I imported one on purpose, but what did I do with it? Dana, dear Dana, what did you do with it? Is right, I don't know. I got it, I got it. I just got to want to lose track of where I left off at the last one. <laughs> so that's the same building. And so there's no crane at the top of that, right? There's no crane in that. There's nothing inside of that. Addition that was done by cranes. They dropped it in piece by piece You're not going to see no footage of people with ranches or people with scaffolds or people with cotton torches So how if you can't do any of that how the hell did you get in there and clean it all up? Because you couldn't because it sprayed all over the place and remember, you know that tsunami came through that washed radioactive material all over the building remember the kind of damage that building is in hi Samuel you're welcome. And thank you, Multicom. They use gaffer tape to fix it. Multicom 1267 says, yeah. Maybe Godzilla helped him at night, Robert. Yeah, Kim Young says, it's probably inside of Unit 5 or 6. Now, we think Unit 5 and 6 never went into cold shutdown. And they've been disguising it and hiding it from us, what really happened at Unit 6. But, uh, yeah, paint all of it with lead. Yeah, no, I know, I hear you. Hi Sylvia, and just make sure we try to give people a chance. Hi Mickey Smith, you almost didn't get the power back, you lost your power, roof, off two houses down, wow. Duct tape. Is there any way to useless asked if there any way Dana, I think they built new ones next to the damaged ones. I haven't seen it, I've been looking for that. I think they're at, they're getting that footage at a dining, and so they drag them all over Diney. It's ten kilometers away, right? There's 14 nuclear plants that went it, that couldn't go in the coal shutdown, that had serious issues. Diney had four plants. People got really sick. Employees, whistleblowers have come out. Um, and just make sure high checks and balance. Ellie, let me keep going. <coughs> so we got some more of those. Fancy pictures I put together, informables. So I left off on CBC. They can't tell the difference between a destroyed building and something perfectly intact. Why should they fact check anything when all they do is regurgitate everything they're told to regurgitate, right? RT done the same thing. It says question more up in that top corner. And they got the building over there, and here's the building behind me, what it really looks like. There's a detonation. What happened to it? You tell me. Look at the building behind me. Does that look like the other building that's in there is going to fit in the building behind me? You don't have to be a genius to work that one out. You don't have to be very intelligent. You don't even have to have an education. You don't even have to have a brain cell. You don't even have to have a spine. You don't even have to have a degree. You don't have to have your breakfast in the morning. You don't even need to wake up and drink coffee before you look at those two pictures and said, No, shut up, give me my coffee. You know, they're, they're completely 
out of touch with each other. And yet they're driving that down the vulnerable people's throats and their own, they're, they're pretending that it's real. And do they think their children are not going to get cancer? Do they think their children are not going to get tumors? Do they think their friends and their brothers and their aunts and their nephews and their nieces and their uncles and their friends and their mothers and their grandparents and their pets and goldfish are all not going to get cancer from Fukushima? I guess again. <coughs> hey, Ellie. The cigarette haven't got a filter on it and it hasn't got 4,000 chemicals in it. Hi, Radioactive Banana. Hi, Matthew. No, it doesn't look like it, do it? Here's another one for you. Here's Tokyo. Oh, Tokyo. And Tokyo got the little building there, right, in the bottom. Tokyo, I can't stretch her too much, but Tokyo, the furthest one over, and then the green one they're saying, that's the one everybody's putting up. But the one over there, you can see there's, there's, no, uh, there's no crane in that. You can't take anything out of the fuel pool because the building is destroyed anyway. You can't get at it. The fuel pool is full of broken rods and chunks of material. You move it around, you're going to detonate. All those noble gases are going to get released. And so it had detonations. See the detonations. See the carnage behind me. Let me get out of the way for you. Maybe not. I got too much stuff hanging here. I don't want to rattle the microphone. You can see Unit 4. i got to lean the other way. I gotta mirror everything I'm doing here. I gotta switch that around so it looks the other way, so I'm not always doing the opposite. So I gotta change that. That's cool. We're ready to do interviews. So next, as soon as I get some more stuff up on the site tomorrow, we'll run at that. Um, hang on a second. But that's Tepco. Tepco, we ex we expect them to lie. That's what they do, right? But we don't expect motherboard and voice to come out and lie to us and show us those pictures and think we're idiots and think we don't know that that picture there and that the picture behind me to think we don't know the difference to treat us like idiots that's pretty disrespectful and physics.org or psychic.org whatever you want to call it I'm going to call it psychic.org from now on this is the vid they're showing us but here's the picture behind me that's the building and they're saying they're inside of that building. Everything is fine. Shut up, Dana. Leave us alone. We're trying to pull off a scam. The Nuclear Engineering International, one of the biggest nuclear sites out there. No, you know, no. Here it is, boys. Shut up. I mean, here's Unit 4 above me. All these are the same authentic pictures. They're the government's pictures. Here's some emails from the NRC. And you'll find links below to a couple of million of these emails. A telephone conversation on March the 16th, 2011. And what did they say? They said, Diachi, they had evacuated out 10 kilometers, Chuck. And Dan says, the Diney, now he meant Diney to spell different, but uh, which is 10 kilometers away, was evacuated 10 kilometers, is our understanding. Diachi, which is the stricken plant, was evacuated to 20 kilometers. And Chuck, yeah, 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 right, okay, sure. And was sheltering out to 30 kilometers. And Chuck said, Fuki you, I'm inside 20. No one told me to get outside. He said, I have a question that's important to our assessment in the current conditions of Unit 4. You remember Unit 4, right? It's like the one over my head, not like the fable over there, okay? Don't fall for that one. He said, the media continues report on the fire unit 4. I'm looking at him since he burped right now that they say is involved in the outer shell of the containment building. And we're assuming that it involved in the fuel in the pool. The media continues to report on fire at unit 2, 4. That was on, that was on a telephone call on March the 16th. All right. Have a nice day. But it also reported that they would be using an operational diesel generator for Unit 6 to provide water to Unit 5. Now, I'm not sure if you're familiar, but they had a friggin' big tsunami ran through that place. And I might have got a picture, and I might not have. I know I wanted to. I know I probably did. I just know 
you got to have an extra set of eyeballs to pull off what I'm pulling off. Hey, I got a dirt bee. So they had a tsunami went through there, and that tsunami ripped up 500 miles of coastline. And they were in the basically right up the center of it, and then it dispersed both way, both sides of it. But they were right out, right up the center of this thing. And let me get back to the emails. The emails. And I got one more to read. I got one more to read. Okay. One of the areas that we have a question that's very important to our assessment. Yeah. We have been assuming that it involves the fuel in the pool. And so any clarification? I'll give you some clarification. <laughs> that's all you want it. Dude. We got that. We can, we can think that stuff out pretty good too. Hang on. Maybe I can. Maybe I didn't import it, cause I can't do everything with the little fingers that I got. So here's unit four. Let's look at it that way. That's some pretty badass explosion from the fuel at number four, releasing the noble gases. And then they become extremely volatile, and everything goes all over the, the town tonight. This is a 10-story building. The, the beams you're looking at, right, those beams, you can park an SUV and almost turn it around. That's how big those beams are. So imagine the detonation that ripped the shit, excuse the language, out of that creature there. Think about how bad it is. Think about that. This wasn't no just, hey, it's all cool. Let's jump to some other news for a bit of fun. Let's jump to some other news. Let me catch a couple of comments. It's one of those nights where we want to go easy. I've been going, go, go. <sighs> Alex says PP, typo, and I'm fucking blind. Kate says, yup, five and six are separate. Fix is stupid. Says, oh yes, I see. And hydrogen and oxygen generation, like you say, if there's any moisture. And checks and balances summed it all up with six bananas, please. May I have another? Ellie says that damn fuel fool pull. <laughs> Aye, fuel fool pulls are important. And another thing that's important is seeing what we're talking about bananas with Alex Smith. Humans are about to taste the first genetically engineered super duper banana. Yeah, the globe trotting BMO GMO banana arrives for the first test in Iowa. Yum yum. Give me some of that cancer. Give me some of that glossophates. Give me some of that fluoride. How much of the potassium did you take out of the bananas? You dirty little demons. I wonder. Nobody knows. So here's a rather bizarre headline. Da, 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 da. No, Mickey, that building won't stand out much longer. Chinese city sealed off after the bubonic plague deaths. And Chinese city has been sealed off and 151 people are in serious uh, trouble. So you seal off a city, that's no small thing, okay? Now, the Ebola is on the, the move out there in second gear. I got no idea what I've done with that headline. Let me see if I can find it. Uh-huh. It's all good till the unthinkable happens. No, I know I got that there. I just don't know what I got done with it. But, um, yeah, I covered that, didn't I? No, that's Chinese City. Hang on, folks. I can't do anything right tonight. Come on, Dina. Give a guy a break. <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm doing a metal order. <sighs> Robert, yeah, Godzilla's working at night. Radioactive Banana's not very happy that they got the GMO Bananas, and he says, screw GMO Bananas, paid for by Bill Gates. GMO bananas, yum yum, says Brian. Hi, DC Babu. Yeah, I got a banana phobia too, Vasilou. <coughs> Bubonic plague, yeah. Well, that could be Ebola. 
And Ebola has infected an awful lot of people in an awful lot of uh, in three different countries. And recently, there's been academic epidemic outbreaks. This, there's five different types of this Ebola, and this one in particular is the worst one, and it's a 79 percent kill ratio. And I would probably imagine that's what's going on. Um, not the banana story, but let me get it. The, not the globe trotting. Ah. Anyway, <laughs> all this clicking and not getting anywhere. Here we go. I'm back on track. Make sure I catch up on a few things. And Chris Burton says, I live in Iowa. This shit pisses me off. Burn all GMO. Where you go, Chris. Fukushima revelations. Maybe leprosy is going to make a comeback. <laughs> yeah. I can't. I had a joke actually today about le leprosy. And the Ebola, yeah. Or the bubonic plague and the, the Ebola is the new leprosy. I can't remember. What the hell was it? Uh, another headline, unthinkable twist. Japan experts call for immediate health exams outside of Fukushima. We must act, act urgently or damage will be worse. And the government officials said, hey. I said, no, no, I won't get a pension if you folks talk about that. My pension... Right now, as long as I keep my mouth shut in Japan, is looking pretty bloody sweet. I got some weird ones. I got no idea what I've done. Oh, yeah, I kind of compiled this one. Here's another headline. A family was asked to leave Southwest Flight after a tweet. And he had to sign a waiver to get back on. He had to delete the tweet or they wouldn't let him get back on. He punished his children to get at him. And on the bottom of it, right, in the bottom one, I stuck in another headline. TSA allows illegals to fly without verifiable, verifiable IDs. So they're, they've got to grow up all your children because they're afraid of Al-Qaeda. And Al-Qaeda just got to dress up as a homeless person. He's good to go. As, oh, I just came across the board. Oh, you're okay. You're not the dirty Americans. Those dirty little Americans. So this is kind of a weird one, actually. Um, Israel gone bananas. Israel is testing high-tech tunnel detection systems to fight a threat from underground. Well, I mean, if you enslave 5 million in refugee camps, because that's what's going on down there, right? 5 million in refugee camps, and then you took away all their land. And so Palestine got that little red, la uh, green land there. That's what they got left. And the one over in the corner is what they used to have when Israel showed up, the fort one over. And then over the last number of years, now they're, they got even less. And Israel's is going to go and blow everything up in there right now. Palestine is not at war with Israel. When they go to war, they have rocks and they protest. Hamas, they hide away. You never see them. And they fire, like, like every rocket that Hamas ever fired is not equal to a single 155 millimeter depleted uranium round coming out of those tanks. Because they put a 100 foot hole and then it's 900 foot kill ratio in the neighborhood. And just war crime after direct war crime are carrying out down there. But just to continue on that story, um, in a bid to find a solution, the IDF elite Talpia unit has been working on developing a tunnel system and they're going to 80 something mile tunnel and then they'll put sensors in it and so if anybody tries to tunnel into Israel that's most likely people tunneling into Israel not tunneling in there, why would you fuck would you want to go into Israel for it? and uh, the gas deployed see that? gas deployed at the top of the screen gas deployed right? that's the same story by Israel army gushes out of a hole so they're using uh, gas against uh, the people in the hole. Now, you know, you won't hear Mark Reggae saying, and their spokespeople like they normally would say is, well, there's no humanitarian crisis in Palestine. We let in 100 trucks a day. Remember, I flushed that out. I called Mark Reggae out for that one. Now, when I've done the math on that, that's 16,000 people a truck. So that wouldn't even supply diapers, let alone toilet paper per day, 100 trucks, see? is 16,000 people per truck. And so they had 300 tunnels in order to survive because they got embargoes by land, sea, and air. And Israel has used a chemical weapon 
so they can't use those tunnels ever again, right? And they have a permanent land sea in Aaron Burgo. What Israel is doing is they're trying to get the world to hate them, and that's their prophecy. So don't hate them, just boycott, divest, sanction, and condemn them. Don't support them in any way possible. A screening before meeting with Egyptian president, and you see at the bottom of the screen it says Secretary of State Crazy Kerry, and talks about the Palestinian. That's got nothing to do with this. That was a misleading headline too on top of that. But Kerry is a donkey's arse, a donkey's ass, whatever you want to call him. Kerry is just a monkey. He's got no background. He's got no history outside of being a cheerleading bootleg and lap dog. But he has no diplomatic skills. He has no kind of skills, no kind of nutting. He's just a really useful idiot. I guess he he swallows, you know. That's the only thing that makes any sense. And former New York City Mayor Crazy Bloomberg. What a disgusting parasite that person is. He had to fly to Tel Aviv because they stopped flying planes. And uh, big rich people with the shares in the airplane company are feeling it in their pockets. And that's what I mean. The divest, sanction, and boycott, right, will drag out the big shots to try to save their asses because that hurts them immediately. They have to have the money coming all the time. So divest, sanction, and boycott. Here's a good old clip from... Uh, hang on. I got so much I can't keep up with it. Yeah, this is a guy coming up. I covered a couple of nights ago. I can't even remember his name now. And he's talking about the equivalence in bananas. you got to hear it a couple of times to believe it. Uh-oh. I got no audio. Yeah, I got audio. I had to turn down. Hang on. Here's a clip for everybody. And a one. And a two. And a three. People in Japan would be exposed to more because they eat more seafood and their seafood is more contaminated. So we calculated what that was. So in Japan, they're, they're getting the equivalent of about one banana per day. I'm speechless. One banana a day. If I was in Japan, and he was saying that, I'd throttle him. I'd bounce a chair off his head. I can guarantee you. I'd pull the hair off his head, that's for sure, before they got me and threw me in jail. I'd definitely be breaking something off the side of his head. There's no way I would let someone uh, be that disrespectful, just that disingenuous. That just, like, just listening to it pissed me off that time. Enraged me, actually. I really, truly want to get my hands on these people. I want to call them up. I want to get them on the show. I want to, I want to crucify them in public. Because that's what they deserve. They're the lowest form of life imaginable. They're, they have no humanity in them whatsoever. They're doing it for a dollar. They're doing it. They don't believe that a banana is equal to radioactive material. If you ingest a banana, you off-gas the same amount of potassium-40. How the fuck can you get more? Why would you say that? That just pisses me off so much. You're teaching our children that. You're going in our institutions. I would knock the teeth out of your throat. That's how big of a lie and fable that is. It just pissed me off again. I done a whole video about you the other night because that's how disingenuous that is. It's shocking. It's outrageous. It's humiliating that our children are being treated like that. That our children are being indoctrinated like that and are being treated like that. It's humiliating that people are allowed to do that over and over every day of the week. That's what our institutions do is they, 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 they betray our children. That's all they do. They bring in the big shots, give them lots of money for an hour of speech and it's total betrayal. Piss me off. That pisses me off something awful. I can't stand it. It's another betrayal of everything. You know, here's your bananas. You miserable piece of shit. Here's your bananas. Look at it. That's only based up on one reactor for a couple of days. That's all that is over 40 day dispersal. It's not based up on three reactors. It's a crime against our planet. 
It's a crime against every human and every species and everything we stand for. These elements are not created by the sun. These elements are not in our solar system and they're not in our food. Well, they are in our food now, but they're not the potassium-40 that's in our food. That's homeostasis. If you take a Geiger counter and you put it up against any of that food, you will not read nothing. You have to take a cubic meter of water, dry it out, way up to potassium-40 to figure how much is in there. You can't get that on a Geiger counter. That picture up in the corner doesn't belong in this frame. Those radioactive labels don't belong in this frame. That's an absolute fabrication. And they're all after doing it. They don't know how to say the truth. They can only tell you lies. They can't say that it's different. Because then everybody before them for the last 70 years gets exposed. All your media gets exposed. Your media knows that a banana, if you eat it, you off gas. You can't get more radiation by eating normal food. But if it's got ra if it's got contaminant, if your Geiger counter goes off, that's not potassium forty. That's man made radiation. If you're checking if you're checking bananas or potatoes or beer or whatever, if that Geiger counter goes off, that's real. That's man made. That doesn't exist in our solar system. Your Geiger counter can't find jack shit anyway. There's thousands of these radioactive isotopes, but it's an indication of a man-made radioactive gamma or alpha emitter, depending on how it's calibrated. We dump it in 41 miles of open pits. But what we got done to the ocean, what we're doing to the ocean, like here's the jet stream, again, that's the disposition over your country, over North America, over 40 days. So you you got, and that's just cesium 137. You got to add the 134, the 135, the 136. You got to add a hundred times more strontium 90. You got to add all the other strontium daughters. You got all the uranium daughters, all the plutonium daughters, extremely energetic emitters. These are coming from a chain reaction of multiple meltdowns. Chernobyl was one third the size of any of the reactors at Fukushima. These people on the roof run after for 15 minutes and then they never go back again, they go home. In Fukushima, we're sending in the homeless, the most vulnerable, the people who can't read or can't write, the drunks off the street, the most desperate that society had, the most uncoordinated, the most un uncaring in the sense of they don't care to do a job. They don't know what they're doing. And they really truly don't. They're getting murdered. They're getting murdered. These people never, you know, 15 seconds on the roof and they go home. Do you, you know, that was one third the size of any of the reactors. That was a 30% meltdown. Fukushima's a 100% meltdown. These people are putting lead on their bodies. The people at Fukushima are not putting leads on their bodies. The people at Fukushima are wearing paper suits. It's a crime against everything we stand for. We, we got all these academics and all the universities, send every friggin' one of them down there. Send every one of them down there. Let's murder all of them, get rid of them, because they're the worst that we got on our planet. They're worse than Blackwater. They're mass murderers on a whole new scale. The people at our institutions, at our universities, our nuclear scientists, in every fucking one of them, I don't care if they're an activist now or not, every fucking one of them are, are war criminals. They're scum of the earth, and that'll never change my eyes. I know what they've done. I flushed it out myself. I'll flush it out here eventually. Every nuclear scientist out there, every professor out there, nuclear engineer, every dean at every university that hosts these creatures are the betrayal and monsters in our society. They're just as bad, just as bad as a mass murderer, the worst mass murderer you can dream up, they're capable of it. They've already done much worse damage to our planet. There's 8.8 .8 million other species on the planet. And all of them are better than any nuclear scientist. All of them are better than any nuclear professor. All of them are many times better than any nuclear dean, pundit, propagandist, apologist on this planet. This is a single release over 40 days from a single reactor. Multiply it in infinity. 
and you actually get the true numbers. These clouds are invisible. You can't see it. Does that mean it's not dear? Does that mean it's not harmful? The fact that you can put a million radioactive atoms and elements on the head of a needle and a single one of those atoms will give you a cancer because it doesn't stop producing energy for its entire life, which could be tens of thousands, millions, and billions of years, and is when you talk about MOX fuel, when you talk about taking missiles and putting them through the chain reaction 20, 30 years later again. It's the stupidest thing we've ever done. It's the biggest fable. Every reactor out there is boiling a million gallons a minute, killing the larvae, killing the marine life, killing the fish, 1,440 million minutes in a day. Every reactor does that. It's disgusting. It's perversion of everything we stand for. How can we ever get anywhere else? How can we ever have any kind of a future? How can we have any kind of industry if we spend and blow all of our money on nuclear and nuclear apologists and a nuclear fable and a nuclear craziness of, of reactors, how much money they cost, and then how much it takes to plan a couple of hundred years to decommission them. Every nuclear plant hemorrhages 120,000 liters in your community of radioactive boil off from the nuclear fuel pools, every fuel pool. Like, the game is over. The truth is here. Banana's got nothing to do with this. Banana's got nothing to do with anything. So why are they all saying that? Why are they saying potato chips? Why are they saying it's like walking in the sunshine? Why are they saying any of that when we know that when you ingest it, your body sequesters it and it continues to attack you and when they burn you and cremate you, you liberate those radioactive elements back into the environment where they'll float around, find something else and victimize them. This is the history, this is the legacy of this maniacal industry. It has no conscience. It has no awareness. It, but it does know what it's doing. But it has no awareness of the pain it's inflicting, of the carnage it's inflicting on all of us. On every species on this planet, how did the arrogance of these people become better and more important than everything else combined on this planet, including the 8.8 .8 million species? How did their fucking pension and their jobs become somehow the, the golden rule for a life on this planet? Here's the golden rule. I catch you, I knock your teeth down your throat. You get no respect, you get no quarters, I don't back down from baby murder and just, you know, like I could, I'm ready to snap on these people. And don't make no mistake about it. Look at this dispersal. Just 137. What about the 100 times more strontium 90? That's instant leukemias. That's instant autoimmune deficiencies. That's instant lesions to your organs. That's deformities. That's hereditary genetically DNA that's been passed on to your loved ones and their loved ones and their loved ones. If you're lucky enough to have that. Because if you don't stop what's coming out of there, there ain't no future for anybody. It's all gone to shit. Look at what they done at WIP. You look at that. A banana. They had a truck fire. Let me play that for you. I hope that's the one. Double check. Truck fire and escape. Yeah, I think that's the one. Let's bear with me. At this point, it's unclear exactly how much radiation has been released. We have employees uh, sequestered in place um, so that uh, we minimize any potential for um, airborne inhalation. Underground operations had already been suspended a week and a half ago after a truck caught fire in the underground facility where radioactive waste is housed. Why would you evacuate for nine days because of a truck fire? Why would scientists come out and say, ah, it's like a banana, which was John Neal from the University of uh, Oklahoma, right, out KRQE, saying that it's like a, well, you get more radiation from a banana on the mainstream media. They went and sought him out to say that, and that's what he said. Why? You can't get more radiation by eating a banana. Every single piece of those... For nine days, there was a release. See, that's what happened. Nine days, there was a truck fire. Everybody bailed. It wasn't a truck fire. You don't abandon 
you know, a, a $25 billion operation because of a truck fire. And then nine days later, they still haven't been back down. They got people sequestered in place, which is upstairs, because they announced, well, we got to do something. We can't go back down. So they gagged you. They, and they're continuing to do it to suck money out of you. And these people should all be fired and replaced. Every one of them should be fired and replaced. Every one of them should be swinging from a pole for doing that. Every one of them, including that, that lick your iPhone lady, should be swinging from a pole. Where is your common decency when you talk about this maniacal industry? Think about the banana. Their deposit looks something like that. It came out of whip for four days. And so that stuff was found all around the world that came out of whip. There's no different than that one right there, right? I meant to click on that one for you. But this was the first time we seen Americans put a chart up on TV. They put that up on TV. On TV. And that was the dispersal. You see the banana? <coughs> and so the people at the TV stations, at the radio stations, and all your media is like I show you tonight, CBC and BBC and Informable and, and Physics.com and RT and all of them showed you that beautiful pool inside of a debilitated, dilapidated, destroyed, detonated building. So they think you're an idiot. They're calling you an idiot by doing that to you. They got no soul. They got no right. They got no authority. They got no credibility. And they got no one to blame but themselves. Like, I'm not the bad person for calling them dirtbags. I'm not a bad person for saying I want to smack their teeth down their throat. Because that's what you do to people like that. You don't say, ah, he got me. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. No. Someone does that to you, you knock your teeth down their throat. There's accountability. And so people like people who say this and come out and lie about bananas, why shouldn't you bounce a rock off the side of their head? I'm not saying do that, but why wouldn't you? When they do it to you, when they lie to you in your face, why wouldn't you bounce a chair off their head? Because nobody else is going to hold them accountable. And what, that's what it's going to take. Is someone's going to have to pummel these fuckers. Put them on their back and knock the teeth down their throat. That's the only thing they're going to understand. That's the only thing the rest of them will understand. And every time you do it, you knock them, you hunt them fucking down, you knock their teeth down their fucking throat. That's what you do with these people. Every fucking time they come out and say it, that's what we should be doing, hunt them down, knock their fucking teeth down their fucking throat. Because that's what they deserve. Nothing less. Fuck them and fuck anybody else that defends that. You got no moral high ground to come out and say shit like that. You got no right to be put up on a pedestal and be allowed to say shit like that. You got no right to be up on a TV site and they don't fact check it and get away with shit like that. Those people need their teeth knocked down their fucking throat every fucking time it happens. Because I'm sick of it. Who are these Ken Buslers that they're allowed to they're put up in Time Magazine and National Geographic and Fox News and mainstream media throughout the hemisphere repeatedly? Everybody regurgitates it. <coughs> it's like a banana. <coughs> Ken Busler said. <coughs> That's all they do is just regurgitate it. Why shouldn't I knock their throat? And their fucking teeth down their throat. Why should I sit here and take that? Why do you think I'm here tonight? That's what I'm doing. I'm knocking it down their fucking throat. I'm not here because I want to be. I'm here because that is so wrong. That is such a betrayal. That is so disgusting. That is the epitome of evil. That people are allowed to do that. And people sit there and let them get a fucking way with it. And then I'm literally the only person that will come out and challenge it. You won't get the media fact check it. But no, I got to sit here and, and, and lose it like I do tonight. I'm sorry. But I'm telling you, if I'm sat there and you're lecturing and you say to me, and I paid to get in or I come to watch you, that is like a banana, I can guarantee you, you'll never forget my name. You'll never forget me. You'll never forget that place. You'll never forget that day. Nobody else will that was there. 
Nobody else will go and say, yeah, he won't say bananas again. Nobody else, nobody will uh, do that again, rather. Because I'll knock him out. Or her. I don't give a fuck who you are. If I'm sat there and you're lecturing and you're talking about bananas, you're going to get a bottle up the side of your fucking head. Because that's what you need. That's what you deserve. That's what you got coming. Don't you think for a second that everything you've done is not going to come back and get you. Because I'm sick of it. I've had enough of it. You will destroy everything on this planet, you people will. Give it an inch. One fucking inch. And if there's no one there ready to knock your teeth down your throat, you'll keep coming ahead. I guarantee you, you won't come face to face with me. I'll knock your teeth down your throat. You'll eat my elbow. I don't give a fuck about you. You are dirt. You are a piece of dirt that's in my way. That's all you are. I have no compunctions about you. I have no emotions for you. I have no feelings for you. I don't care about you. I don't care about any blowback from you. All I care about get me hands on you. You're lucky I can't. Because someone needs to straighten you out. I'm not going to kill you, but I'm going to put you in a fucking hospital bed. I never gets me hands on you. You don't deserve anything less. You deserve a firing squad. If I was the president of the country, we'd hang you publicly and leave your carcasses there to rot. Trust me. That's exactly what I would do. I'd hang every one of you. Day one. Let's get every nuclear scientist, every nuclear professor. Let's fucking hang them. Go ahead and hang them. Yeah, they might not have worked at it for a couple of years. Fuck it. Hang them. Let's get them off the planet. We don't fucking need these people in our existence. These are not humans like us. Hi, Hunters, John, David, Brian, Missing Sky, Toxic, Sean Can't Surf, The Punisher. Pia, Moila, Mr. I can see, I'm sure there's a couple of scientists out there that are trying to fucking do good because they've done so much fucking bad. Or they're just being paid to infiltrate the fucking system. That's what it's been every other fucking time. They won't come out and tell the truth. They won't come out and beat the system down like I do. No, they'll come out and play the game. Ah, oh, they're getting some of the fuel rods out of number four. Anybody says that needs their teeth shoved down their throat. They're the scum of the scum. The lowest form of life. They're the mortal enemy of every species on the fucking planet. And they probably already done us all in. They most likely kill us all anyway with Fukushima. It's most likely, more than likely, almost guaranteed, they killed everything on this planet. They killed most of us already. They're going to take out 75 to 80 percent of us. And the rest of them will have a cure. That's not an illusion. These are models based on little tawny releases, a single days or a couple of days from a single reactor. Not all the reactor. A single radioactive particle. They're a fine of 1,500 in a cubic meter. Like if you think that I'm like over the top tonight, you have no idea. If you watch this whole video and you think that anything I say might be a little bit, well, oh, come on, Dana, you know, a little heavy for this kind of, you know, it's, it's just nuclear waste and a whole bunch of dead people and oceans and species on this planet. It's all good, Dana. How can you not be pissed off that they're saying it looks like that inside of this? How can that not enrage you? How can that not absolutely enrage you that your media is doing that? I covered it all night. BBC, CBC. The most despicable people that our planet has to offer. Give the side by side again a unit four for the new arrivals. There it is. Hi, Mickey Schmidt. Checks and balances. Maya John Goffman was a nuclear scientist. He said nuclear power is premeditated murder. Yeah, there's a whole lot of them came out and they infiltrated the group with their trying to make people feeling better. Hi, Adam. Sean can't surf. Subhuman entities discuss. Guys, the nuclear pollologist. They have not seen nothing yet, Mickey says. They may 
take out a few million before we get them, but it's worth it. It is. It's worth it to hang every friggin' one of them right now and get it over with. None of them, none of them deserves our mercy. None of them deserves our empathy, our apathy. None of them deserves a second chance. None of them are capable of it. They have all sold their soul a long time ago. If they're speaking out now, it's because they salted away enough money from robbing the system in order to do that. That's the only reason they're out there and they're being paid to do it. Alex wants to have a swearing contest. Better than a puking contest, probably. And Ellie's enraged and so am I. Checks and balances pissed. He was using the caps. Not going to take it anymore. And so what do we got going here? Great show tonight. Ronald says, yeah, we kind of went over the top 54 minutes. We'll wind it down. Say goodnight to everybody. Have I got anything else for you to drive you into a whack land? Hey, uh, let me run over and give you a quick tour of the site. The nuclear proctologist. You can get me. You can click on the section over here. And that'll give you, I got some new sections up there. I just want to make sure each section, section two, Chernobyl. I got a lot to add to all of these, but I had to reformat the whole site today. It's all done. Radiation fallout from the jet streams. Pacific Ocean radiation damages. You can click on them. Um, Canada, Fukushima, American Fukushima. Here's Americans. Looks like it'll take a second. The page is loaded because it's uh, on the net. There you go. Free Nobel Peace Prize with an order of Fukushima shrimps and tacos. Pretty cool. I like it. Radioactive rain caused 130 schools and created clothes, yet rain in California had 10 times more. On April the 4th, the latest forecast at all California on the radiation threat shows levels as high as in Japan. Now, I got that, dear, for you. Hang on. That'll look a bit funny, I'm sure. But here's the radiation fallout, right, coming up. That, But that model is only based up on a couple of days from a single number one reactor, right? So that's the American coast over there. <clears throat> and okay, let's wind it down anyway. Was there anything else I needed to add in there? I'm all over the place sometimes. <clears throat> I noticed one article there I didn't cover. I don't know where the hell is to. Oh well, we'll get it all next time. That's all we can do. Back to where we started. Just remember folks, there's 1,440, every minute there's one of these rivers of radioactive material going out into the ocean. Every day this stuff is hemorrhaging into the ocean for 14 or 1,200 and, and many days. And there's 1,440 minutes in a day. This is, imagine that's radioactive. That's why when I show you these here, it's because it takes 130 days to cross the ocean. And every day behind that was 1,440 plumes a day every day. And so over 1,200 days later, so it's crossed the ocean almost 10 times, 130 cycles. And so behind it is another cycle each time. And as that keeps circling itself round and round over 1,200 days and continuing on, everything in that ocean has to die. Everything. It's not going to mutate. And, you know, we'll have some pretty cool-looking, weird-looking things out there. No. It's all going to die. Everything is going to die. All the whales, all the seals. 3,000 miles. There was a sailor who never seen a single creature after leaving Japan, right? You remember that article? The ocean is broken. It's not a joke. How we went from deer to deer is anybody's guess. And it's not really cool. Good night, everybody. Starlight, Tinfoil Hatter, yeah, Shanigans, MSVS, Missing Sky, and links below to Missing Sky, Never Stops 101, great stuff over there. Good night, Kate, Kate's link is below to the Fukushima Hounds, hugs for everybody, Pia Jensen, A-I-E-O-U-Y, -I -I -E check out the Isaac Herbal Formula, there's links below to DCA, for cancer is night radioactive banana thank you la good night everybody mickey miss frill am thirst mom's the word uh, mr i can see brian china checks and balances brita youngie msvs sterilite sylvia pia bob moya and everybody else samuel 
good night everybody and there's lots of links below to all kinds of really cool people i say good night and hugs to all them too while i'm at it that's just the way to go we'll be back tomorrow night it's a lot easier to stream now we got everything set up we're not finished but everything is good to go each night i don't have to touch nothing just sit down and start streaming so the more i'll be working on the site loading up some new material more material on the other ones and that'll be an ongoing process for about two weeks and but it's pretty straightforward now we finally slowed down once again check out nuclearproctologist.org go to the right hand section and you can browse through different sections really get a fast education get a grip on what's going on uh, i kind of screen